my dear child no matter what happens in your life know that it is for your soul's benefit when you zoom out and look at life through an eternal lens you will see that everything unfolding in your life right now is by divine order this is the loses the challenges and the growth are all for your highest good there is a light at the end of the tunnel miracles are on the way and the best chapter of life is yet to come so enjoy each moment with deep gratitude so you are at this really powerful point in your life where you finally have the ability to create the vision you keep seeing for yourself so your path was riddled with so many obstacle that reaching for your goals was not even at the forefront of your mind so just getting into a good place was your primary focus now you are here and it is from this space that the energy to act on your positive momentum not only exists but is abundant so you are beginning to manifest what you see for yourself not only because you deserve it but because that is your power so this is your time this is your turn let's get it so my child know that you are free to cry it out if you must but you are still going to see the blessings when god's done molding you the pruning hurts the molding is uncomfortable but child of god you are becoming and there is beauty in the process of becoming something remarkable So you have so many new adventures that await your arrival so many new faces to await your love so many new souls to touch in the process wow it is rather beautiful the person you became in the end the power that radiates from your pain and heal others the glory in the midset wow god is good so this is a reminder that sometimes your interest change and that is okay sometimes your goals change too and that is also okay when your interest begin to change it is okay change your path too so it is okay to have a new dream it is okay to leave an old dream behind even though at a one stage it was all you wanted so there might come a time when you feel like you are not the same as you were before and that is okay too that is what growth feels like don't run from your potential just because you are uncomfortable in the space between where you are now and where you want to be so my child know that i hear the lord say it is not the end do not settle i am not surprised by the detours that ends and cross roads of your journey so i have not changed my promises to you do not pitch your tent on the edge of the promise land and the wilderness
so it is time to move up and in i have more for you do not settle and do not settle here you will not be disappointed in my plan and promise though it is different from what you imagine so i am doing existingly more than you have dream so i hear the lord say that for such a wild time as this he is calling his people to start crossing the jordan and move into their promised land territory so while things go crazy in the world god has set aside special inheritance and gifts for this time in history we need to have the right kingdom perspective to get position for what he is still doing he will move in historic ways like the story of joseph many people have been refined and processed by the lord and it was not for nothing so you may not see the fulfillment of the dream or what yet it is the process has a purpose and god is getting you ready for such a time as this to step into your calling you were set apart not set aside god put in an order for your destiny stay close to jesus the fulfillment is up ahead i know it's been a long hard path for many you may feel the promises and promise land are far away but it is not time to settle i feel that so strongly from the lord do not pitch your tent here when the promised land awaits you your obedience to take leaps of faith and make painful sacrifices will be order what beautiful worship that is to king jesus keep moving forward pioneer it is not the end but a beginning i pray from now to the end of the year you hear his voice and direction leading you across the finish line so into the new territory he has for you and remember it is not the end so do not settle so my child know that We are at the threshing floor when they come to the threshing floor of Nacon God struck him down and he died there beside the ark of God The threshing floor is where the wheat was separated from the chaff a shaking took place and the real grain was shifted and separated from the kernels that looked like grain but were flaky and hollow today the church is in a treasuring flood season a shaking and a shifting are taking place so things that used to work are falling apart the shallow and superficial are being exposed god is removing the irrelevant and the impure so the righteous and holy are being separated from the carnal com- compromised and casual he is discarding the worldly ways his people have been doing things and returning us to his word it is painful but it's necessary god will only dwell where his name is honor and reverenced and where his word is obey 
so you are enough even when you don't feel like it even on your darkest days you know the ones when you don't even feel like getting out of bed so you are enough on those days too you are enough even when your heart has been hurt by someone you love and care about so you know those days when you stand in front of the mirror and don't feel like yourself you are enough on those days too So when you are exhausted run off your feet and did not finish everything you needed to that day you are enough than to So you are enough you always are and you always have been be kind to yourself today and always So my child know that the next time you start looking in the mirror at all the things you want to change and i hope you remember that when you come into this world there were people who looked at you and thought you were the most perfectly formed human they had ever seen So there still are people who look at you and thank the universe each time for giving them such a precious gift. So I hope you remember that where you see things you dislike, they see all that is good and beautiful wrapped up in laughter and the things that make you uniquely you. Today is proof today is a perfect example that God takes for the enemy meant for your harm and turns it for your good. So Judas betrayed Jesus which led to his death but it was only a setup for the greatest promise fulfillment by far. Jesus is taking what they did to you and he is turning it for your victory. Glory to the good father. So dear God, I trust your plan. I know that you see me. I am confident that you see my desire and that you place those desires deep inside of me. So I trust you. But Lord I am humbling myself to admit that I get impatient often and it makes me feel the sting of time. I ask for strength and patience as you prepare the perfect time for me to catch my blessings. Amen. So in order for me to be the best supporter and helper for my future spouse i must allow god to fill the void in my heart if i am called to help my spouse i must open my heart to the one thing that will guide me to doing it in the best and most loving way So love is not always perfect and neither are you and your future spouse I have to allow God to soften my heart so it is easy to forgive understand and accept my spouse's flaw and struggles So love is much more than fun and games allow God to fill your void in the season of preparation So manipulation is real and you will never understand it until you have lived and breathed it watching someone you are supposed to trust make you doubt yourself to the point where you feel crazy So 
सो इट इज़ फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग इट मेक्स यू फील लाइक यू नीड टैम फॉर गाइडेंस एंड वैलिडेशन यू नीड टैम टू लेट यू नो वेन यू आर नॉट क्रेजी एनी मोर एंड वेन यू आर अगेन so they slowly begin to control your thoughts and emotions to know that someone you love could ignore your feelings and make you think you are too sensitive to avoid being held accountable for what they did so it's cruel the way they know how to focus away from their behavior and what they did wrong on to how you reacted to what they did so that is how they make you doubt yourself and eventually slowly hate yourself for never being able to do something right to see someone you care about act nice one minute so mean the next and then nice again to you to confuse you and assert dominance and control over you it makes you feel helpless when they are kind it makes you feel relieved and grateful but when they are mean to you you blame yourself and try your best to earn their approval so the most suffocating thing about dealing with a manipulator is that it is never quick and it is always subtle to where you don't recognize it until it's too late and how you are looking at yourself in the mirror and you can't understand how someone with so much life knowledge and light could be manipulated like you are a child so my child know that i am a believer if you are like me you have been frustrated because you were doing everything right now and you know to do in a situation but no matter what you did nothing work i'm pretty sure we have all have not our god given responsibility and try to do things that only god can do so god gives us the holy spirit as our divine helper we are partners with god he has a part and we have a part so our part is to trust god and do whatever he leads us to do and his part is to accomplish what needs to be done in our lives and work on our behalf so when we begin to feel frustrated we have slipped over into trying to make a things happen by our own effort and have a stop trusting god so i have been so guilty of this god put it very simply and we need to very simply to what he said type yes if you have faith and trust in god and if you want your all wishes comes through type amen